Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, what is up, y'all? I'm so glad you're here. Um, if you're not new, welcome on back. You know the drill. Let's get right into today's video. First things first, y'all. Beyonce's childhood home has been burnt the fuck down. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear this. So sorry to hear, okay? And that is just very unfortunate, okay? But in my opinion, personally, all right, um, more people are concerned about the fact that that was Beyonce's old home more than the fact that people actually live there now and they're not famous. They're regular people who have kids and nobody's sending any condolences or any well wishes to the family. Y'all brains are so up Beyonce's ass, you can't even realize, all right, that people lost their home. Basically. They lost their home on Christmas Day. That's sad. Okay, get your head out of Beyonce's ass. She doesn't give a fuck about you. She doesn't care. So stop saying, oh, Beyonce's home. I'm pretty sure Beyonce is fine. Okay. Yes, she might be a little sad. She might cry. Or she might, you know, but, but at the end of the day, she has her homes intact. She has her kids safe. She has her multi-million dollar, billion dollar businesses and shit. So she's fine. We don't need to send any condolences to Beyonce. No shade. Okay. Yeah, her memories are there. My memories of my childhood. She, if she ain't paying to fix the fucking house up, I don't give a fuck about any any type of Beyonce correlation to this incident. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yes. What is your opinion on that? Let's move on to this next topic. I'm sorry about the family that has gone through this tragic, tragic accident. Okay. Let's move on to this next topic. All right. Moving on. Sexy Red finally listen to the critics and criticism. Okay. Seemed like Cardi B was dropped off the F My Baby Daddy song, all right? She comes out um, yesterday and she says, oh my gosh, you know we're going to have a collab soon. And then today she pops out with she fucking Keith. Ooh. So maybe that her team realized, okay, Cardi B is going to not be a good feature because y'all, they was flaming her tail on the comment section. They was going on her. They were saying, oh no, Cardi, Cardi, da, da. like they was really trying to, you know, press an issue. Okay. So I don't know. I'm glad that she didn't get her on a remix. I'm sorry. I would not like that at all. So her team made a good choice by getting Chief Keef on this song. Okay. Now, I don't know. Maybe there is a Cardi version in, this, in the vault. Maybe there is a Cardi B version in the in progress. But I'm going to tell you right now, Sexy Red, keep it. Okay. Keep that shit like you keep shit in the diaper for a toddler. I don't want it. Throw it away. Pronto. On my soul. Moving on, y'all. Pink Friday 2 makes history for being the most streamed album on Christmas Day. That's crazy, all right? For a non-Christmas album to be the most streamed album on a Christmas, that's insane, okay? It shows you, all right? When you winning, you really winning. And when you winning, you win in all seasons, not just the regular season. You win in holiday season, off season, okay? Because when Nicki ain't even, ain't even on the game, she's still winning. When Nicki is on her hiatus, she's still doing numbers that these people can't do. So I love this. I love to see it. Um, but am I surprised that she's, you know, getting all these streams today? No, because I streamed the album about like 95 times today. So it don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. Majority of the streams is mine. The album is like crack, all right? On my soul. The album is just like, I don't know. It's just on my soul. It's just so good. So um, yes, I'm excited for this album to see what it really does in 2024. I think in 2024, it's going to really take off. Like I've been saying, it's going to take off, all right? And um, recently, Nikki also talked about the album, okay? In an interview with Funny Marco. She talked about the Doja Cat situation. Let's go ahead and get into that. I want to clock that T. I want to clock how Doja Cat ambushed Nicki Minaj. Let's wake that T up. On this album, there definitely was um, a feature that I wanted on a song called Cowgirl. I like that song. Thank you. The person first recorded it um, and sent it back. And then my album came out, you know, ended up coming out a long time after. Like, my, I kept on like, pushing it back a little bit. So um, then the person hit me one day and said they were in a different era. And I was like, oh, okay. So I, you know, we got months later. Okay, and then, and then after that, their people apparently said they wanted to do it. They, you know, now that they were not, I guess, in that era anymore. And we said, okay, so let's see. And then, but then we got another few comments saying that they, that they don't really think I like them. Doja Cat picked them demons and them satanic rituals over Nicki Minaj feature. How that work, okay? She claims she was in a different era. Yeah, you were so busy slurping blood and praying to Satan that you couldn't even accept a Nicki Minaj feature. Your era was so dark and demonic that you had to take down a Nicki Minaj feature, okay? That's not cute. 
you taking down features, lying and saying you think Nicki Minaj doesn't like you, then you're going on your fucking tour show screaming, thank you, Nicki, I love you. So if you love somebody, why are you going back and forth between the artist and your management and your label and all these different things over a feature? You're wasting somebody's time. Okay, I could I get it if she just said I'm in a different era and she left it alone. But then her team came coming back and then she started making up these lies about how Nikki doesn't like her. She Doja Cat lost me with the Nikki doesn't like me thing. That's what made me feel a bit weird. Okay, because what are you talking about, Honey Bun? Why the fuck would I ask anybody to get on my album if I don't like them? That like are we are we hello? All that fucking blood is getting to her her brain now. All that blood she's been slurping and sniffing and indulging in. You know, all them horns that she's collecting these days is getting to her head. I don't know. I don't. I, th I think it's really weird. Um, but I do think that Doja Cat's ego kind of got a little bit big because how are you going to decline a Nicki feature? Okay, how are you going to decline a Nicki feature and then downplay it? Like, oh, like, oh, this, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. The feature must have been really good for Nicki to keep talking about it. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I think I heard Nicki talk, this is like her third time talking about it. So I think the feature must have been really, really good or must have been a great addition to the song. Um, and of course, Nikki likes her. Of course, she likes her. Like, hello? Like, why would she? You no, know, like, she posted a picture on Instagram, like, last year of Doja Cat winning a Grammy, and she texted her. So, I don't know. I just think it's some weird shit going on between Doja Cat. Moving on, moving on, okay? Summer Walker is teasing a new era. She just dropped a new song today. All right. Could this be the start of her new album coming out? Okay, let's talk about that. Now, in my opinion, personally, um, Summer Walker... Yeah, she's needed, okay? She definitely adds a a touch, you know, to the industry that is required in this day and age. You know, like, she really can make some good music. You know, her last album, over, I'm still over it, it, it was a good album. She definitely did her big one with that album, okay? For sure. So, I, li I like Summer. I like Summer a lot, okay? But it just seems like with Summer Walker's music, it seems like she just keeps talking about these men and what they doing to her. And it, it just, it's always about a man, and I want to get more into who Summer Walker is. Less about the man and what he did to you, how he made you feel like you want to cry. And he's so shitty, he fucked the baby mama. You such a lame man. Like, I don't care about your sappy, sorry stories all the time. I mean, it's good music, don't get me wrong. But let's get into some good stuff. You know, like, you know, when she made Girls Need Love, that was a good little twist. It was a, you know, empowerment type song for the girls. You know, like, let's get more into that. You know, let's get more into, you know, lifting up the next girl. I'm not saying Summer Walker needs to stop doing what she's doing and stop making music that, you know, she likes to make. But let's get into something a bit more, you know, new and fresh. All right, let's move on to this next topic, y'all. All right, y'all. Moving on, okay. Um, Scissors. Kill Bill has been ranked number one best song of 2023. Um, okay. Um, this is not a bad choice, but it's an easy, lazy choice, okay? That's just how I feel. I mean, I can see why they say Kill Bill. You know, it was a no, number one. It was, you know, Scissor. I can see why. Um, but if I had to say number one song of the year, I would say Snooze. Or maybe even Princess Diana, okay? Princess Diana was definitely on repeat for me. It was between Snooze, Princess Diana, and um, Fuck You Mean by Gunna. Those are my songs this year in terms of, you know, mainstream. You know, the mainstream market, okay? What is your opinion on this number one SZA is allegedly claiming to have by Billboard? All right. Let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. Let's move on to this next topic, y'all, okay? All right, y'all. Moving on. It seems like Halle Bailey has had her baby. Oh, congratulations, Halle. Um, she was recently seen on social media, you know, stomach not on big, but she had that like, you know, after pregnancy walk, you know, that after pregnancy, you know, body language movement type look like she could really got the chair. OK, because um, wasn't you just in a live action movie film swimming up and down like shit and now you can really get out of a chair? Yeah, you definitely have that fucking baby, all right? So congratulations, Hallie. I'm proud of you. Um, but I don't know why this, like, this, like, she really made this pregnancy private. She really did. She really, you know, made it her, you know, goal in life to have a private pregnancy. And um, I respect her for that. Now, this must, she must have gotten pregnant, you know, back in, like, uh, March of this year. Because that baby came and was in the stomach. And then next thing you know, <laughs> she on social media getting out of chairs, barely could fucking walk all right so hey i love it 
Hallie, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Um, you're going to be a great mom. You definitely are. Okay. You're going to be a great, great mom um, for sure. Now, what is y'all opinion on this? I would love to discuss it with y'all. We could discuss it down below in the comments and we can really chat about it. You know, we can chat, we could chat, we could chat. And yes, y'all, I will see you in the next one. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe and tap the bell, especially if you made it this far. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Be safe.